everybody, welcome back to a brand new video. So today I'm going to talk you through some of the items that I've managed to pick up from some charity shops recently. Now I love charity shops, you're doing your bit for charity but you're also bagging a complete bargain. Sometimes I would pick up items that I don't really need, I just think that it's a bargain price and I just impulse buy. But nine times out of ten, I do get things that I absolutely love. And these items here are no exception. I'm so pleased with my purchases. So let's dive right in. I'll show you exactly what I've managed to get. So first up, I always like to check the book section. And I managed to pick up this book here from the author Shari Lapina. I think that's how it's pronounced. Um, I've read some of her books before, a couple of her books. And I saw this one. This is one I haven't tried. She tends to do thrillers, which is my book of choice, to be quite honest. And yeah, when I saw this, I thought I needed to pick it up. I like her writing very much. Um, 50 pence. You can't beat charity shop prices for books. So for 50 pence, I picked it up and I am so excited with my purchase. So as well as the books, we also like to check the DVDs. And I know DVDs are becoming a little bit obsolete now with Netflix and all of that. Um, but we do like to keep some DVDs and I've been looking for a few. One of them was Bridget Jones's Baby. I've got the other two. So um, I was really pleased to find this to complete the set. Um, so these are the sort of DVDs that I will keep. My husband likes to collect some DVDs as well, especially Disney. We've got a grandson that's growing up and as he grows up, he'll be able to watch them. Um, but we found quite a few DVDs and we've been really, really pleased. These are just a few of them. Um, and they're usually um, about three for a pound. So really, really cheap. Some of them we haven't seen. So it's cheaper than actually going on Netflix or going to the cinema. So yeah, really, really pleased with our purchases. Always check out the DVDs if you go into a charity shop. So the next thing I picked up were photo frames. Now I managed to get this one, there was only one unfortunately, but this was a pound for this size, really nice size. And then I managed to find these which match, and these were 50 pence, and I managed to pick up five of these. So a great little idea if you're doing like a bit of a picture collage, um, like I say, they all match. It's just a shame there was only one of these. I would have liked two if I could have found them. But yeah, a pound and 50 pence, just such great prices, can't be beaten. The next item is a heavy one. It's these dumbbells. Now these are for my husband. He wanted some lighter weights and these are actually five kilogram ones. Um, these were three pound for the pair. So a real bargain. He's been looking for some um, and he managed to find some in home bargains, but they were five pound each. So uh, 10 pound for the pair. So to find um, two for three pound was a real steal. So I saw a couple of clothing items that I really liked. I don't usually go for clothing at charity shops. I tend to go more for homeware, but um, I saw these and I thought they're just lovely. First one being this skirt here. This is a Debenham skirt. And it's in this gorgeous little print here with uh, flowers on. Gorgeous sort of um, royal blue colour, really nice. And I just thought this would look lovely with white trainers, white tennis shoes and um, perhaps a white vest tucked in. But there's lots of scope on this. You could use pink, you could use turquoise. The, the colour is just so gorgeous. Really, really nice. And this is like a midi length. So I was really chuffed with this. I think it'll be great for the summer months. And the other thing I found was this scarf. It's in this gorgeous navy blue with a grey spot. So it will really fit in my wardrobe really well. And it was actually from the White Company. So an absolute bargain price. I think their scarves are usually about £50. And I got this for two. So when I picked up that scarf, I also noticed this book, which is 33 different ways to tie a scarf. And this actually shows you lots of different ways to tie a scarf. And I just thought I wear a scarf a lot for work. So these will be great just to change up an outfit slightly by changing the style of my scarf. So yeah, I was really pleased to see that. This was 99 pence. So yeah, I thought it would be worth it just to change up the outfit slightly. 
So the next few items are homeware pieces. The first one being this silicon cake mould. Now this is 100% silicon, so it's fine in the oven, fine to freeze. Um, we mainly had it because we like cereal bars and whenever you cut into a cereal bar that you've made in a tray, it just falls to pieces very often. So we thought by putting them in here, they're already cut up into sections and all you've got to do is just pop them up. So we thought it would just make our lives a lot easier. Uh, this was three pound. Next up, we saw these plastic containers. Now, these are great for storing cereal or rice or pasta. And we've got some at the moment, but they are double the size. So they just take up the whole cupboard. So when we saw these, it's much more compact in size. We just thought that they were a no brainer. Uh, 99 pence each for the three. They're originally from Ikea. So I know they would have been more than that originally. So a real bargain and they've got a lovely seal. As you know, with Ikea, everything is really well made. So a nice seal on there, nothing's going to go stale and they're going to fit into our cupboard and leave us a lot more space. Next up, I saw this gorgeous little wooden tray. Uh, now this I had earmarked for the bathroom just to pop our reusable shampoo and body wash bottles on. I just think it would look so much nicer in here on the bathroom shelf. Uh, but you could use it for in the kitchen with your dishcloth and sponges in there or you could pop it on your dressing table and have um, your jewellery in there and little bits and pieces. It does say bits and bobs on it, um, which obviously you won't see once things are in it. But um, yeah, I just thought it was a lovely little tray and it was 50 pence. So it was just an absolute no brainer. And lastly, I found this beautiful glass vase. Now, this has a gorgeous heart embossed print on it, really lovely, and it's in this sort of greeny colour, slightly green colour glass, so very nice. Um, I just thought this is going to look lovely with some flowers coming out, spring flowers or maybe some dried flowers. Um, it's going to make a really lovely addition to the home. Uh, this was £2, so those sort of prices it just can't be beaten. So there we have it. That was everything that I picked up from my recent charity shop hauls. Um, a lot of the charity shops that I went to were cancer charities, um, but there was also Bernardo's and the Red Cross. So a real mixture of charity shops. So if you ever go into a town, it's worth going into them all because you just don't know what you're going to find. It's like a real treasure trove. So I'm really pleased with the purchases that I've got and I've spent a fraction of the price of what I would pay anywhere else. Thanks for stopping by today. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing if you haven't already. It would be great to see you in my next video. Until then, I hope you stay safe and well and I look forward to seeing you in my next one. Mm -hmm.